Welcome back to another Essential Finance video, where I use design to help simplify all those confusing and hard to understand finance concepts. A while back, I posted four videos on the basics of option trading, and they seem to be pretty useful for many of you. But here's a minor issue that some of the audience members pointed out. For example, if you buy a put, how would the price of that put option change over time? Can you sell that early before expiration? When can you do that? And what will happen in real time? So in this video, I'm going to answer all those questions by showing you how buying a put option will work in real time with a live demo and simulation with real option data. There are quite a few cases to cover, so let's get started right now. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. Yes, I'm a designer and I'm here today to use my design skills and thinking to help further explain buying put options. Specifically, I'll be using the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform to give you a demo and simulation on buying a put option and show you step by step how the price of that put option changes over time and how much money you will make or lose over that time period and when you can close that put position. Previously, I've explained buying puts in a simple and visual way. I highly recommend you to check that out so you understand the mechanism behind it and such that you don't get confused halfway through this video. Again, you don't need to smash the like button just yet. Do that in the end if you find this video helpful or insightful. Hold me accountable. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. In this demo, I will be using Tesla as the underlying stock for the put option contract. First case first, Tesla goes down which is a good thing, you want this because the Tesla put option price will go up. And FYI, as Tesla goes down at expiration date on Friday, it should ideally be in the money, meaning the strike price of your Tesla put should be higher than the actual price. So as you know, this is the on-demand feature. We can step back in time anytime we want in the past. So let's say we want March 15th, 2021, and let's set it to be 935, California time, go, okay? So this is Tesla, we can hop into the trade. You can see it's option chain, so we're trading option. So let's say we want to buy a put on Tesla, a put option contract of Tesla that expires on the 19th of March, which will be this coming Friday, right? Today is 15th. Calls on the left side, put is on the right side, okay? Okay, so right now Tesla is trading at seven hundred and six dollars seven oh six right so it's somewhere around here so there are a range of strike price from low from the from above to high okay so let's say um i'm pretty sure tesla's gonna go down this week because of some bad news on the autopilot and fsd timeline is delayed i would say tesla is gonna go below 680 okay 680 strike price 680 put this is something that i'm interested i want to buy a put so that when Tesla actually goes down, goes below 780, I can sell 100 shares of Tesla at 680 and then buy back maybe at 650 if that's the price. Then I make a profit there. Mm, so excited. So I'm going to spend 13.15 times 100, which means it's 1.3K um, on buying this put option contract on Tesla with a strike price of 680. It's 1.3k because in option trading, if you remember from the other video, it's, it always trades in a block of 100. So you have to times 100, that's what you would get. So as you can see, the cost of trade is 1.3k, it's sent. Boom, I got it. So I bought the put. So now we can fast forward to March 17th, Wednesday, and let's say the same time and see what happened. All right, Tesla, right now on March 17th, 9.35. It's actually $668, okay? It went below our strike price. This is great. That's why you see the 680 is in purple. In purple means it's in the money. It's within the money, okay? Within the put money. This is a good thing. You want to be on the purple side. So it's great. And if you look at the, the bid and ask, so the 680, the 680 put that we bought, the price right now is actually about 2.4K. All right, that's pretty cool, right? So if we can go to the monitor, the Tesla, which is already which is already expanded. If not, just click the drop down button. You can see ITM is in the money. It's great. I have one put position that I bought it at 1.3k, but now it's trading at 
875 k It's great, so I'm up a thousand dollar in what in two days. This is amazing, right? So there are a few things I can do. One, I can choose to close the position. I think I'm I'm good. I can close the position, or we can wait and see what happened on Friday because I think Tesla might just keeps going down. So let's just do it one by one. Let's just say, okay, I'm not greedy. I'm happy with the profit. Can I close the position? Yes, you could, because when you purchase the put option contract, it's within your right to exercise to close the position anytime before the expiration, right? You have this contract, you own this contract, it's in your hand, well, virtually. So you can choose to close it if you want to. So let's say in my case, in this, in this demo, there's a few ways to close it. One is I can just right click, create closing order. I can sell the put back to the market. I buy one, I sell one, neutralize, I close it or I can do it in the option trading window I can see right this says POS position I can right click create closing order so I sell this put back to the market I keep this much money confirm sent right boom sold okay so you don't see the POS anymore go to monitor quantity is zero so we all good we are all done so we just pocketed $1,182 in just two days amazing right it's great so now let's step back a little bit to do the second demo let's repurchase the option again go to trade it's a 680 for 1.3k confirm sent we have the 680 put expire on march 19th right march 19th and then i will go to again the same same time same day on wednesday march 17th so i go there and of course let me pay a little bit to update the data and then i Pause again to freeze everything. See the mark is 2.4k, just like what we saw. For the demo purposes, in this time, I don't want to sell it. I want to exercise it. What will happen, right? We wonder what will happen. So we can exercise it. So this is where it might get confusing because put, you're betting the stock will go down and then you profit. It's, it's not that intuitive. But what's going to happen is that it's going to close the put contract position for you and you are going to sell 100 shares of Tesla right away at $680, which is the strike price. So when you bought this put contract, you can sell 100 shares of Tesla at 680. That's what a put contract is, right? If you bought a put, if you bought a 690 put, you can sell the Tesla at 790, right? You can sell it. So what does that mean you sell it? Well, let's see. I confirm and hit send. Boom, I sold 100 shares of Tesla at 680. 80 per share. So if I go to my monitor or go to my account detail, I can see I actually have negative 100 quantity Tesla stock. That's why my cash and sweep vehicle is up so much. So in this case is what we call a short position. That's what you hear from Wall Street. They're shorting the stock. They're shorting the stock. What does that mean? That means they sell the stock first, even they don't have a share to sell. They just borrow the share. That's what shorting means. They will sell 100 shares, right? Because anything you see uh, is not zero. That means you have to open position. What, is that, what do I have to do with it now? So I have to close it, right? So what do I do? I can just click on the Tesla, Tesla income, uh, right click, I create close position. I just buy 100 shares back. So if I buy 100 shares plus 100 minus 100, they neutralize, right? It creates zero, zero quantity. That's how we close the position. The option, the put option is already closed, is zero, so we don't have to worry about that. We sold 100 shares of Tesla at 680, right? We exercise the put contract. And then now we can buy 100 shares of Tesla back to close the short position. But how much are we paying to buy 100 shares of Tesla? It's at 668 per share, right? We sold it at 680, but we buy it at 668. That's how we profit, right? There's the difference there. So we can hit confirm and send and boom. You can see we close the position, zero, zero. You can see in the PL day, profit loss, we made $1,000 in two days, okay? And if you remember, this is the same number. It's very close, about the same number as you just selling the put option contract just back to the market. I just have to do one thing. I don't have to exercise and buy back. And when the market is fluctuating, the price can go up or down a little bit. So for the sake of simplicity and convenience, I prefer personally, to just close the put position rather than exercising it. Of course, it's completely up to you. All right, so we go to March 19th, Friday, the expiration date, 12.35, go, refresh date a little bit. 
Right, so right now we are on March 19th, 1235, and then let's see, the 680 put, right, the put, 680 put, oh, it's already 3k, oh, so I was right on Wednesday that the put price can actually go up more because Tesla keeps dropping. Right now it's 649, okay, so what can we do? Well, one, again, we can just right click, create close order, and just sell the put back to the market. Somebody's gonna take it, and we're gonna and then we're gonna close the position. Or we right click, we go to exercise. Again, we're gonna sell 100 shares of Tesla at 680, and then buy back 100 shares at 649, and then we profit that way. Okay, but either way, the profit is very much the same. So I again, I personally prefer just closing the put position. It's just one thing to do is easier. That's just my personal style. And as you can see, the 680 put is within the purple range, it's in the money because you can you want to sell your shares at a higher price, right? Of course. And then the actual stock price of Tesla is in the lower range. That's why this is out of the money. And this is in the money. You want your put to be in the money. Or actually you want all the options that you buy to be in the money so that you will win this bet. The second scenario, Tesla goes up or maybe it goes down but not low enough such that at expiration date, your put option contract is out of the money, which means the strike price on your Tesla put is lower, is below the actual Tesla stock price. That's what you don't want to happen. You don't want out of the money when you are buying a put option. So again, March 15th, Monday, 9.35 a.m. California time. Hmm, I'm really guessing that Tesla's gonna go down a lot this week. Okay, I'm guessing, do, 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 I'm gonna guess maybe 640. That sounds right, okay? I'm gonna guess 640 strike. I'm gonna spend $520 on it, okay? Boom, I bought it. Spend 520 on a 640 put. Okay, that expires this week, this Friday, 19th March. So now let's fast forward to the Friday, right? 12.35 again, 25 minutes before the market closes on Friday, California time. And let's see if my bet, if my hypothesis was right. And ooh, actually 25 minutes before the market closes, uh, Tesla stock price is at 6.49. It's close to 6.40, but not quite, which means our put option, our Tesla 460 put, is actually out of the money because it's not, it's not in the purple area, right? It's out of the money. It's lower than the actual stock price. Currently, the value of this put option is only $23.50. So if I look at the monitor, look at my account, I'm actually losing money. Well, I'm on, on paper, I'm down, right? Because I spent 520 on it. Right now, it's only worth $23. This is not great. Why does the 640 put lose so much uh, value when it's out of the money? Well, first of all, today is March 19th. It's the Friday that any of these options expire, including my 640 put. And by buying a 640 strike price put, I have the right, I could sell 100 shares of Tesla at 640, right? That's the definition of a put contract that you buy. But in fact, the market is trading at 649 is higher than the strike price. So theoretically, I can short 100 shares of Tesla. I can sell 100 shares of Tesla to the market at 649. Then why would I want to exercise my put contract that only allows me to sell 100 shares of Tesla at 640 at a lower price? It does not make any sense. So if you right click on the position, of course you can still exercise it, but you are selling it at 640. If you hit confirm send and, and a go, it's definitely a loss for you. And if I close the position, it's also going to be a loss for me. So if I bought a put option contract and on the expiration day, it's actually out of the money, then I lose. I lose to this bet, whether you exercise it or buy it back. Somebody might argue, well, it's only 12.35, there's still 20 minutes left in the market close. If Tesla drops below 640, would that help? Would that bring up the value of my 640? Put contract. Yes, it would, but how do you know? So there are a few things I can do, even though I know it's gonna be a loss, mostly. So what can I do? Well, I can choose to close it, and yeah, of course, I can get 
$23 back instead of losing the entire $520. Or I can choose to do nothing. I don't buy it back. I don't need that $23. I can just leave it as it is. And if it's out of money, if my put option is out of money at market closes, the brokerage is going to look into my account seeing, oh, I have a 640 put that is out of money. Then they will automatically close it for me. Then I lose all $520. So the TLDR is if your put option contract that you buy is out of the money on expiration day, your put option will be worthless. That's why you see the option price keeps dropping from $520 to only $23. And as time goes on, it's going to drop to $10, $9, $5, $1, $0. Alright guys, we have gone through a live demo and simulation of buying a put option on Tesla and saw how exactly the price of that put option will change over time all the way through expiration date. Short answer to this question, yes, you can sell that put once you feel like you have some profit on Wednesday. You don't have to wait until Friday expiration. So buying put options is not that complicated overall, isn't it? Do you have a better understanding of what it is now and how to execute? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something new or got some useful information, congratulations. And I hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you want to see more finance videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep using this design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers!